Thank you so much to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video. As somebody with very pale skin, very dark hair, and five feet long legs, I really appreciate a good razor. And Dollar Shave Club has you covered not only for the razors, but for all your grooming needs. I've been trying to be more conscious and spend more time um, doing self-care and grooming things on myself. I'm probably because I could like, never leave the house. Sometimes I can get a little lazy, but lately I have been sort of upping my game and I feel a lot better. Dollar Shave Club makes it really easy with their starter set. So let me show you what you would get with that. First, you have the executive handle and blades. Uh, the handle's really nice weight, um, easy to hold, very easy to use. It's very flexible, just a great shave all around. I also want to say, you are supposed to change your razor every week, and I know you weren't doing that. Then we have the starter size for the Dr. Carver's group of products here. The first one is the Prep Scrub. This is going to help exfoliate, it's going to get rid of and prevent ingrown hairs. This is what you want to start with. Then you have the shave butter. This is what you actually shave with. It's awesome because it makes your razor just glide. Glide, glide, glide. And it's, um, it's transparent so you can see where you've missed. And then we have the post shave do. This really hydrates and soothes right after you're done shaving. Um, this is actually my favorite product. Here's the full size one. It makes you feel super luxurious and it smells very good. It's like when you're done, sometimes with my, my legs and it just feels so dry afterwards. This is my favorite. But shaving is only one step on how your skin looks and how it feels. So Dollar Shave Club just launched a whole skincare line. They have sunscreen, they have acne eraser, they have eye patches and more. So definitely check that out. Awesome fun new products. So you can visit dollarshaveclub.com slash gb and get your starter set for just five dollars. After that, they'll send you your razors at full price. Keeps it so easy and you don't have to remember. It's all done for you. And you can make sure to round out your grooming routine by adding any other products that you're interested in to your basket. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash gb. Thank you so much, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you for watching. Hello! Oh my gosh, you're back. How are you? Are you okay? Our last, um, examination, that was, that was rough, wasn't it? I still, I still wake at night frequently thinking about your case. Well, good to see you again. How's the family? Okay. Um, what brings you in today? It could be a myriad of things, I'm assuming. You hit your head? Oh dear god. Okay. Um, do you mind if I take a look? I'm just gonna examine your head. Oh my god. That is... We're gonna have to run some tests here. It's possible that you may have damaged uh, some of your internal systems. Um, I think we should probably run a full cranial nerve exam on you today to sort of see where you're at in terms of basic functionality. All right. Um, so that means we're gonna be testing your sight, your hearing, your smell, your taste, your sensation, your ability to feel. Have you noticed any issues with anything regarding those things? Your sight, problems with your sight, your hearing, you're having problems with your hearing, your smell, your sense of smell, you're having problems with that, uh, your sense of taste. Okay, and any loss of sensation? Yes, okay. Oh, all right. 
I'm gonna have to do all the tests I have on you then. Um, starting with your sight. We're gonna have to just jump right into it if we want a hope and a prayer. <sighs> I'm getting this done today. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look into your eyes with this light, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stare at my nose. My nose, stare at my nose. Nope, 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 my nose. Okay, you know what? Stare wherever you'd like, it's fine. That's weird. Uh-oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's not good. No, it's not. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen pupils like that in all my years of practice, to be honest with you. Can I have you just follow the light across your vision? Just don't move your head, just follow the light. Follow the, follow the light. You're having a lot of trouble with that, huh? I'm just gonna go back the same way. Follow the light. Hmm. Yeah, you were all over the place. That was that was that was terrible. Okay. Um. Follow the light. Don't move your head. Just back up. This is my little eye test here. All I need you to do is read me some letters here. Let's start with line four, okay? Can you tell me what this letter is? No, no, okay. We'll get a little bit easier. Let's, let's go to line three. Let's see if you can read line three, okay. Can you tell me what this is? How about this one? How about that one? I'm sorry to say that none of those were correct, actually. Let's, let's go to this line. Can you read this letter for me? How about that one? No. Okay, can you read this letter for me? You can't. Okay. That's fine. That's not fine, but right. nobody's barely hard to blind patients. Okay. I'm gonna test your peripherals using this little tool. Okay. Now keep your head straight, keep your head still. I'm going to be moving this out of your sight, and you tell me when you stop seeing it, okay? All right, here we go. You don't see it anymore? I've barely moved it. Okay, no problem. Um, we'll try on the other side. Here we go. You don't see it? Okay. Um, same thing. Stare right ahead. Tell me when this leaves your vision. You don't see it. Okay. Um, one more time. Tell me when this leaves your vision. It's left your vision already. Okay. <sighs> Can you see me? I'm just making sure. Just making sure there. I just wasn't really positive about that. Okay. Uh, one more test. I'm going to take my fingers here and I'm going to move it closer to your face. Okay. 
I want you to keep your eyes focused on my finger this time as it gets closer to you. Here we go. Try it, try a little harder. A little harder. Okay. One more time. Focus on my finger. Come on, just focus. Focus on my finger. Focus on my finger. Do, 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 do. Okay. all the eye tests I have for you. Um, let's move on to your hearing. All right, for this test, I'm going to be leaning in and whispering a series of numbers in your ear. I just want you to repeat them back to me what you heard, okay? All right, here we go. Not quite. Um, let's try the other ear. Um, six, two, four, three, one. Hmm. Let's just try one number. One number, I'll whisper it in your ear, you repeat it back. No. Okay, how about four? Okay, I'm going to just say some basic vocabulary words and you tell me what you hear, okay? Picnic. Hmm. Interesting. It seems like you're comprehending my words, but when I whisper something in your ear, you have absolutely no, nothing, no, no recognition of the words that I'm whispering. Can you not hear them or? Okay, let me see. My other hearing test for you is I'm going to make um, a bit of a humming noise. Pardon me bit of a humming noise, and then I'm going to make a second humming noise. And I want you to tell me whether that humming noise is higher or lower, okay? Here's the first noise. Mm. Here's the second noise. Mm. No, okay. Let's try that again. Here's the first humming noise. Here's the second humming noise. Sorry, that is not correct. One more time. Here's the first humming noise. Here's the second humming noise. No, the second one is higher. You hear it as lower? That is so interesting. Okay. Alright, um, let's just move on. Let's move on to the smell test. This is a fun test. Everyone loves the smell test. Okay, here we have our smell tubes. Okay, each tube has a very distinct smell that, according to our lab tests, 99% of humans that have come into our lab 
do recognize these scents unless there, you know, is something wrong with the olfactory nerve. Um, you said you were having trouble distinguishing scents or even smelling at all. Distinguishing scents? Okay. But you can't, you can smell things. All right. Well, we'll take those small victories as we get them. Here's the first smell test. Go ahead and give us a whiff. I think that's strawberries. This is actually mint. That's, that's mint. Can you smell mint? You just smell strawberries. Okay, well, that's all right. Plenty of other ones to try. Next. that smells like chocolate. This is actually pickles. This is pickle juice. This is pickles. Pickles. It's very pungent. But you smell chocolate. I might have to get um, my colleagues in here. This is... Let's just, let's try another one. How about this one? Okay. This is a nice straw. I think that smells like peanut butter. Ah, uh, this is coffee. That's coffee. Coffee smell. Coffee. Okay. There's three more. You can still get, you can get one right. Here we go. There's a nice one. Okay. Unfortunately, no, that is not Brussels sprouts. This is orange. Orange. It's orange. Unfortunately. Nope, that's not. That's orange. Okay. Let's try another one. Here we go. What is this smell like? Roses. This is pure alcohol. This should be burning your nose. It should not smell like roses to you. Okay. One more. Might as well. Yes, this is elderflower extract. Very good. Very good. All right. Who have you gotten them all wrong? I don't know what I would have done. All right. Next, we do want to test your taste. You said you're having trouble with that as well. Now, are you tasting the wrong things, or do you have no taste at all? Tasting the wrong things, kind of like the smell, huh? All right, well, I do have these taste sticks here. Each one is loaded with a different taste on it. Once again, these tastes are widely recognized in the lab, in our studies, so you shouldn't have any trouble identifying. I'm going to put this on your tongue, and you tell me what that tastes like. It tastes like leather. Like shoe leather? Like clothing leather? No, 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 no. This is banana. It's banana. Okay. Second one. Laundry detergent. Nope. Blueberry. That's blueberry. Okay. What does that taste like? Tastes like dirt. Like earthy dirt from the ground. Hmm. Okay, that's cinnamon. Getting closer. 
that's fine, okay? Okay, how about this one? Cat food. Oh, why do you know what that tastes like? No, no, no. This was whipped cream. Whipped cream. Just light, sugary, marshmallow type whipped cream. Okay. How about this one? No taste at all? Yes, this one had no taste. Phew. Oh, once again, you are coming in right at the end here. Okay. Next, I'm going to do a little pH test of your saliva. Now, I do have a number that I am looking for in particular that would indicate um, health. Alright. So, go ahead and stick this under your tongue. And we're going to leave that there. How's work going? You got fired. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay. I'm gonna stop asking questions. Okay, let's take that out. This color isn't even on the bottle. your sense of touch, your sensation. So I'm going to use this Q-tip here, okay? It's a little baby cotton swab. And I'm going to use the soft and the hard side to touch different parts of your face. Tell me when you feel it. Did you feel anything? You know what? This Q-tip is absurdly small. Let's try this one. This will be much better for testing. Okay. Close your eyes. Tell me when you feel the Q-tip on your face. Do you feel anything? This probably is too. It's okay. We can use this Q-tip. This will be- this is good. This is better. Um, close your eyes and tell me when you feel Q-tip on your face. Okay, here we go. Do you feel anything? That's fine. Um, we'll try the pointy side. I'm just going to trace around your face here. And you tell me where you feel the stick, okay? Do you feel anything? Nothing? How about here? 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 Is your entire face numb? You don't, you don't feel this? Okay. Did that happen before or after you hit your head? I see. Okay. 
my very last test for you is just to do some simple facial movements, okay? Just to see if you have control over the basic muscles in your face. Um, if you don't, then we need to send you for more help. I am not equipped for this. Okay, go ahead and raise your eyebrows. Go ahead, anytime. Just raise your eyebrows. How about furrowing your eyebrows? Can you do that? I saw a little movement, okay. Um, can you stick out your tongue? A little bit more. That's far, okay. Um, can you puff out your cheeks? Can you smile? You got a very nice smile. Okay, we have the smile. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, how about frown? Well, you'll always be happy, I guess. Um, can you turn your head to the side? No, to the side. To the side. What about the other side? Look up? No, 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 look up. Okay, look, look down, that's fine, that's good. No, down. Okay, well, you can look up and down, it's just... Okay. Um, now I'm going to try to open your eyes, so what I want you to do is close your eyes, but I'm going to try to open them, okay? Oh, you're supposed to stop me from opening them. Okay, close your eyes again. That's fine, just a little bit of weakness there, that's okay. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Just put your shoulders up. Okay, I'm gonna try to push them down. Oh, no, 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 you're supposed to not let me push them down. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a, some medicine, a little injection here, and then I'm gonna need you to immediately go see a specialist. Give them this paper. Tell them I sent you. Um, I have a little injection of brain juice, okay? And since you can't feel anything in your face, I'm just gonna go ahead and... That should help you uh, get to the specialist. Tell them you need to be seen right away, okay? I... Yes, please let me know how it goes. I am gravely concerned. All right. Well, um, hopefully they can give you the help that I could not possibly give you. And good luck with everything. Nice to see you again. Bye-bye.